In today's video, we'll be looking at the best stockbrokers for New Zealand investors. I'll be discussing which ones have the lowest fees, give you access to the best possible companies and will allow you to secure the greatest returns. When you first start investing, it can seem a bit overwhelming when it comes to all the different types of brokers that you have access to. I'll be giving you my personal recommendation on which broker is the best for you based upon your style of investing, the fees that they offer and of course the types of companies that they allow you to invest into. Remember guys, if you find this video helpful, make sure to help me out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel so you can stay updated with future content. Firstly, we've got Sharesies. This is one of the most popular investing platforms for New Zealand users and it gives you access to the New Zealand stock market, the Australian stock market and the US stock market as well. You can invest in New Zealand based businesses like Fisher and Paiku and Ryman Healthcare all the way to big branded US companies like Tesla and Amazon. It's a very well-rounded brokerage platform that is useful for beginner investors. It boasts very low fees with an exchange rate of 0.4% and the brokerage charges are also percentage based. So as you can see on screen here, it's an overview of the types of fees that Sharesies offers. So with Sharesies, it's percentage based brokerage charges are very beginner friendly. And essentially what a brokerage charge is, is the fee that you have to pay for buying or selling your shares. So as you can see here, if you wanna say invest $30, you'll get charged 15 cents. So in the example down below, you invest $6,000 and then you get charged $15 for that first 3,000, so that's 0.5% fee, and then another $3 on the 3,000, which will be 0.1%, so leading to a total of $18 deducted, so we have $6,000 ready to invest. So with Sharesies, there's also a foreign exchange fee if you're wanting to put your money into, say, a US-based company, so the amount of money that you'd have to pay will be a little bit higher than just that standard brokerage charge. For example, if you're wanting to invest $1,000 into Tesla, then you would be charged a 0.4% foreign exchange fee to transfer your money from NZD into USD. So this will cost you four New Zealand dollars to do. And then on top of that, once you make your investment, you'll be charged 0.5%. And this will then also take off another $5. So you'll be left with $991 invested and then $9 taken away on these brokerage charges. Now brokerage fees are a very common part of investing and they're not very high, but you do need to keep in mind that they are there. Because with Sharesies, if you're constantly transferring small amounts of money in, it's very, very brokerage friendly in terms of the fees you have to pay. But with other platforms, they can slowly start to add up if there's a flat rate or a flat charge per transaction. So it's got an easy to follow interface and a very straightforward way of setting up your account. All these brokers are very easy to get started with. Setting up an account is very similar to making a Facebook or Instagram profile. All you'll need is just your email address and phone number and then a few extra pieces of info like your IRD number and your New Zealand driver's license along with proof of address either in the form of a utilities bill or bank statement just to make sure no fraudulent activity takes place on the platform. Once all this information is sent through, it takes about one to two days for it to get processed and then you'll be nice and ready with a Sharesies account or ready with a brokerage account for whatever platform you're using. The setup is normally pretty much the same for all the platforms included in this video. So just a brief summary of Sharesies is a very easy to follow platform with everything laid out between different types of businesses. You can search for individual companies, order them from highest return, most relevant, biggest dividend, and then topping up your wallet is done either through a bank transfer where you put a specific code that is unique to your Sharesies profile in the reference number or you can also use a credit card but again this comes with its own fee so I'd strongly recommend going with the bank transfer option. The layout is very straightforward and easy to follow. There's nothing complicated about navigating the platform and it's very much beginner friendly both in its design and the types of fees that it charges. So if you're starting out on your investing journey, I'd say Sharesies is a great place to begin but as you start depositing more and more money, the percentage based brokerage fees are a bit more expensive than those offered by other platforms. If you wanna see a more detailed video on Sharesies, I'll leave one linked on screen where I give you a bit more of a step-by-step -step tutorial on what the whole process would look like from actually setting up an account to buying some shares using the platform. Next, we've got the brokerage platform Hatch. Now, this is the one that I personally use and it allows New Zealand investors to put their money into US-based companies. Think brands like Facebook, Amazon, Tesla, 
Google, all these well-rounded, well-recognized companies. One of the biggest ways that Hatch differs from shares is other than the types of companies that it offers is the brokerage charges that it has. So with Hatch, there's a flat fee of three US dollars, which equates to roughly $4.20 NZD, and it's not percentage based. So no matter how much money you're putting into Hatch, you'll always be charged three USD for the trade. And this makes it much cheaper in comparison to shares these once you get into larger amounts of money. And I'm talking about $3,000 plus. Just as a comparison to shares these, if you were to deposit $3,000, you would lose $12 on the foreign exchange fee, and then you would lose another $15 on the percentage brokerage charge that you have. Whereas with Hatch, you would get charged a slightly higher foreign exchange fee of 0.5%. So you would lose $15 for that FX fee, and then on the brokerage charge, you'd lose another $4.20. So that would mean on Hatch, you'd spend $19.20 to invest $3,000, whereas on Sharesies, you would lose $27. And this is why I pick Hatch over Sharesies, because the percentage-based deductions might be more appealing for smaller amounts of money, but once you start getting into higher amounts, that $3,000 plus range, Hatch does start to beat out Sharesies. This doesn't mean that Hatch is necessarily a much better platform, but overall I find these brokerage fees can add up over time and really be quite limiting if you don't account for them. So Hatch is also very easy to follow, a straightforward platform. The layout for these brokers is pretty much the same regardless of which one you're using. You can search for the type of company you want, top ups are done through credit card or bank transfer, you can look at your portfolio, you can organize the shares you're viewing in the same manner, biggest gains, highest losses, all these very common and straightforward categories that you can get. If you want to save a bit of money on Hatch, I'll leave a referral link down below that will give you $10 when you first sign up and deposit your first $100 onto your Hatch account. So I'll leave that down below if you want to get a free $10. So I would recommend Sharesies for anyone who wants to get started with investing. They may be thinking of putting in say $50 a week onto their profile and they just slowly want to build into it and see what investing is like. But I would recommend Hatch for anyone who's quite committed to long-term investing in these big branded companies that are offered by the American stock market. Keep in mind with New Zealand based companies, they often don't grow as quickly and don't have as much potential for reward. So with Hatch, because you're putting your money into these large branded American companies that can grow very quickly, you are more likely to get a larger reward for it. And the amount of money you'll be charged for investing is gonna be a lot less if you're putting in those high lump sums of money, that $3,000 plus range. It can seem a bit scary to first start putting your money into these big American companies, but I would strongly recommend it because overall it will do you better in the long run. But don't get me wrong, there's nothing bad about sharesies. It's just for me, I'm looking for long-term investments in bigger businesses that have a greater potential for reward. Lastly, we've got Stake, which by far I think is the most well-rounded broker that gives you the most options. So one of the most appealing things about about stake is it's zero brokerage fees. It's pretty similar to Robinhood, but it's more so the Australian slash New Zealand version of it. Some of the ways that Stake makes money is its subscription service called Stake Black, which is $9 a month that gives you access to more detailed info about a company's financials and also gives you the ability to trade on margin, so the ability to trade on borrowed money. If you're a beginner investor, I'd strongly recommend you not to do this because it can backfire very heavily. If you're trading on borrowed money, there's no limit to the amount of money that you can lose but if you're trading on the money that you have, you can only lose 100%. But the price of a stock can always keep dropping, so you can always keep losing money if you've borrowed it. So do be very considerate of this before you start thinking of trading on margin. So with stake, you are charged 70 cents for every 100 New Zealand dollars that you deposit. So one of the greatest things about stake is that it automatically offers you two-factor authentication. So that means once you log into Stake, you'll get a code sent to your email address that you have to put in before you can fully log into your account. So this makes things very secure for Stake's users. It also has a great easy to follow platform where you can search the kind of companies you're wanting to invest in. And then in terms of the info that it provides, you can look at the growth of the business, not only in a regular stock graph, but also in a candlestick graph. So this is great for people who are into day trading and the zero brokerage fees also makes this very possible. So it's quite cool that they support the two ends 
of the investing spectrum people who are quite interested in day trading and those who are long-term investors so it was quite supportive of these two different types of investors and that makes it a very versatile platform it also gives you a bit more detailed information about a company's financials in terms of its eps growth and then a lot of news about that particular business also there's the wall street tab which is very helpful for refreshing yourself in terms of what's been going on in the market you can look at the dow jones the nasdaq the s p 500 and just refresh yourself to see what the market's been doing you can scroll down and look at some of the news you can see everything that's going on currently in the market and see if there's any new info that you should be aware of that might influence the businesses you're looking at investing into stake will also give you a timer to show you when the market will be opening because you're putting your money into the US stock market there's only certain times where this can be done and stake will give you a nice timer showing you when this is possible stake along with its zero brokerage fees also boasts a zero foreign exchange fee again making it very popular for investors so as you can see here if I'm say wanting to invest $1,000 into stake I'll be charged an FX fee of $7 again this is for that 70 cents per 100 New Zealand dollars deposited along with a $5 fee for the US tax form and believe me this is very necessary you'd much rather let them take care of it than you have to deal with the tax issues that can come with not properly declaring funds and then here you can also see an estimation of when the money will hit your account and this timing is very accurate and then there's also that express fee of 0.5% if you want the money to hit your account a bit faster personally I think stake is great for anyone who's a long term investor or likes day trading it's very viable for anyone who wants to first get started with their investing journey and the biggest thing to keep in mind is that 70 cents fee per 100 dollars deposited so all of these are great platforms I think they're very versatile and useful one isn't particularly worse or better than another but they all have their pros and cons depending on what you're trying to accomplish anyways that'll do me for today remember if you found the content helpful make sure to help me out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel <laughs> If you want to learn about more ways to secure passive income other than just investing, I'll leave a video link on screen that will show you my top 5 strategies for securing passive income. Click that video to see a lot of other strategies that you can implement to start securing yourself some passive income that is not limited to just investing in the stock market.